I bring in all the wishes and greetings from all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Juveria Javed for scoring a phenomenal rank of rank number 169 in the specialty of DM Medical Group in NEET SS 2023 session. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Excellent. Can we know your brief background history from where you started till date? Yes, sir. I did my MBBS from Usmania Medical College, sir, in Hyderabad. And I finished my internship in 2018. And the same year, I joined MD General Medicine at Deccan College of Medical Sciences, which is also in Hyderabad, sir. I passed out in September 2021, sir. Uh, I was the university gold medalist of my batch, sir, in 2021. Very good. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So uh, then as soon as I got my results, I started pre preparing for NEET SS. That was in Jan 22, sir. But uh, that time the pattern was different. I was uh, interested in rheumatology. So I wrote the rheumatology branch exam and I got ranked 74 in that, sir. But uh, I wanted a seat in Hyderabad, so I could not take that one. And subsequently, I took a gap year, sir, because I had a, a baby. So September 2022, I did not give a serious attempt. I did not even check my rank from that attempt. So, but it was in my mind that I'm going to have to crack the next September 2023. So because I wanted to give full time, I took a gap year and during this time I cleared DNV general medicine and also cleared MRCP step one. And in the middle for a brief period of two to three months, I worked as a senior resident at NIMS uh, Department of Rheumatology to get an idea about the branch. But then it was getting difficult to juggle between motherhood and the job and preparing. So I gave six months uh, full time preparation from March 2023, so for the NEET SS. Excellent. Brief history. Perfect. And um, as a role of a student, as a role of a mother, as a, as a role of a consultant, there are many roles you have taken up and to do justice yes. for all the roles. And in spite of all this uh, shared responsibilities, still to be an achiever is something great. And, uh, really appreciable. And uh, now I want to know what all you did in the uh, last uh, six months or last one year. And how you moved uh, from uh, that stage to this stage of an achieving person to score what you wanted? Yes, sir. So I think uh, the foundation was this was built in my MD. Like I had focused completely on my Harrison's. In the all the three years of my MD, I made sure that I studied every chapter cover to cover. And I also made notes, sir. I think those notes came in very handy. Because uh, with having only six months in hand, it's difficult to listen to classes and make your own notes. So the first thing I think that I did right was making my own notes. And the second thing, actually, sir, I've been a subscriber to Speed since my final year only. Okay. But uh, unfortunately, I could not uh, just crack a proper pattern to, you know, make use of the service. But then this time, having written two neat tests before this, I realized that the Speed basically has everything I need. I just need to dig in and get the information and then we reciprocate that in the exam. So I had that in mind. So what I did is I listened to all the 21st edition classes. And there were two things that were very important that from these classes are that the things that were above and beyond Harrison that, that I could not get the time to study from other books and the updates. So I added those in my MD notes. So I had a concise uh, sort of a Bible, which was I was referring to and reciprocating. And I think, sir, three, four months into my preparation, I hit a period of very low confidence because I was going very slow. And I could not actually uh, crack uh, a lot of grant tests. The speed grant tests were quite tough for me. So that time I heard one of your videos where you said that two months, just leave everything, your family, your job, everything, and just give full time. So I think I can give full credits to my family, my husband and his parents and my parents. And they stepped up to the plate and took care of my child. So I think two months, the last two months, I spent almost 12 hours in the library. I used to study. And uh, the last thing that I did in the last 45 days was I went retrospective. Like I do, 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 did grand test and I revised in a retrospective mode. And I think that I think helped me uh, achieve a better rank. I do regret that if I had more time, I could have revised and gotten a better rank. But I'm content with I have gotten what I've gotten according to my hard work. So your dream branch is rheumatology. Yes, sir. It's rheumatology. Now I'm actually also thinking of endocrine, sir. I'm confused between the both. I'm just trying to consult my seniors to pick up whatever is best for me. So by counseling, uh, before counseling, you will be into one speciality that you wanted. 
Yes, sir, hopefully. <laughs> now, what is the message that you want to give to the aspirants of DM? Yes, sir, the same thing. Uh, during MD, do not neglect Harrison's because as we've seen in this pattern of paper, the lines were directly picked from Harrison's. And uh, no matter how much you listen from someone else, you studying it is always going to be the best option. So the first reading should always be taken seriously. And uh, since it's quite difficult to, to, because it's so volatile, so I think making your own notes helps a lot. And uh, what I can suggest as what has helped me is, of course, do as many grand tests as possible and revise as many times as you can. I think nobody can underestimate the power of revision because that is just, uh, I think, uh, helps a lot. And uh, I think speed basically has everything. I remember listening to Dr. Azim from cardiology, Dr. Dheeraj from gastroenterology, Dr. Madhupriya from hematology. I think that audiovisual method of listening and remembering that sir made that point related to this question and Dr. Manu from nephrology. I would be so amazed when sir would recollect points from other specialties also. <laughs> <laughs> So I think all of them, it's like they've played a great role in me getting here. Very, very good, doctor. Excellent. And we yeah. once again, we wish you all the very best and all the success in a great career, either in rheumatology or endocrinology, what are you going to choose in DM Superficiality? <laughs> For that, yeah. our best wishes from the whole team of speed to you, doctor. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. And convey our regards to your uh, baby and also to your family, <laughs> to all your friends. Thank you, sir. Thank you so all much. All the best. Yeah.